Hey guys, quick video on how to set up your new iPad mini. So this is 16 gig white. Um, it's going to be the same setup for any iPad 32 gig, 64 gig, and 128 gigs, same thing, um, including the iPad 2 or iPad 3. So basically, to, um, to set it up, just press the power button first. Till that loads up, you're going to see the Apple logo. Later on, you're going to see this. You're just going to swipe. Okay, then you're going to choose your language. Um, for now, I'm just going to choose English. So that's the first one right there. And I'm going to press this arrow right here. Then it's going to tell me um, to select the country or region. I'm going to choose Canada for now. You can choose whatever country you're at at the moment. Okay, so I'm just going to choose Canada. I'm going to go next. Um, you do want your Wi-Fi right now. Okay. If you don't have Wi-Fi, just connect it up to your iTunes on your computer. You can also set up that way. However, this is the easiest way and fastest way to do it. So I'm just going to hook it up to my Wi-Fi network. So let me just put that information. I'll just put join. It does need this in order to do the setup, so you do need Wi-Fi, okay? Okay, then just press next. Okay, and then just press enable location services. It just helps out with everything if they know where you're at. Now you can set it up as a new iPad or you can restore anything from your iCloud if you had an iPhone before or anything that's Mac, you can always restore it with using your Apple ID. Right now I'm just gonna set it up as a new iPad. Um don't worry from this point, if you set it up as a new iPad, nothing's gonna happen. Um you can still restore it from any backups that you have on your computer just by hooking it up to iTunes so that means you hook it up to your computer just with the cable that came with your iPad and then you're just gonna restore it from whatever you have on your computer so um, I'm not gonna sign in with an Apple ID it is good to create one if you didn't um, but you can always skip this step just by clicking here okay and then just skip over Okay, I do recommend getting an app ID and setting it up. Uh, just agree with that. You're going to click agree. You're going to use Siri since that's the good thing about the new iPads. Siri is useful sometimes. Um, you do want to send to Apple just for, for them to see what's going on with your iPad or anything wrong with it. Um, we're going to put start using iPad. And you're all set. You're ready to just um, have fun with your iPad. Um, you will want to download some apps for your iPad right now. And you can basically just um, maybe take some pictures through FaceTime if you set up your Apple ID. Um, you can start downloading some books for your newsstand, well, magazines, I should say. Um, you can put notes right here. You can use gestures. Well, right now you can't use gestures. Oh, there we go. We can. Uh, we can always take off gestures that you saw right now. It's a uh, multitasking gest gestures. So you can always take those off. But it it is good to use gestures just to minimize everything. You can also do that just by pressing the home button. Um, but that's the basic setup for your iPad. Always uh, try not to leave the screen on too much. Once you're not using it, always press the this button so it goes back to black. Um, just so you won't burn any, any pixels on your iPad. Um, that's it for this iPad setup. I will have a full manual for you guys to see uh, on my next videos. Thank you.